N4 HNH here with the Yaesu FT891. I shot a video about this previously, but I had a lot of questions, so I may not have done a great job explaining it. Um, the radio has a TCXO, temperature control crystal oscillator, uh, so it'll hold frequency pretty tight, but you know, the reference oscillator itself um, can be just a little off uh, here and there um, when you buy the radio. So if you want to check yours, um, the easy way to do this, okay, so you see I'm on 15 megahertz, so I want to be about centered up between, you know, 160 and 10 meters. And um, I'm going to long press the function key here, and you, there's the reference frequency adjustment. It's at um, menu 5-17. If you want to use the, the zero in LED to help out, make sure it's enabled. That, of course, helps you with CW to... Uh, uh, well, essentially to spot um, so that you can uh, be sure that the frequency you're listening to is the frequency you want to hear as a side tone. So I like 550 hertz, which is what you're hearing right now. Um, so if you turn the zero in LED on and it lights up blue, then you're at 550 hertz side tone, regardless of what the VFO might say. But here's the... Uh, uh, let's see, reference frequency, let's get back up there, there we go, so it's on 20. So out of the box, it'll be more than likely zero, <laughs> so there you go, yeah, it is zero out of the box. And you know, the ASU um, uh, assembly technicians, they'll, they will zero this in at the factory, but admittedly, the radio needs to be on for 20 or 30 minutes, go through a warm-up cycle before they do that, and who knows these days if they always get that right. Um, I've owned, I own two of these and the, both of mine required a adjustment. So you can see there at zero I'm not getting a blue light. So I'll adjust it until I get a blue light. There we go. That would indicate that I'm now, uh, the reference oscillator is now uh, got the VFO uh, right on 15 dot uh, zero 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 megahertz so that uh, my side tone that is being produced is 550 Hertz well you can see if I keep going with it I can go all the way to the maximum 25 hear the pitch change a little bit um, so probably it's really somewhere along in here this thing is very very minute so one of the things you can do I'm gonna jump out of here a second Hear the wavy lines, so I'm not I'm not absolutely dead on it. One thing you can do to help is I'm going to go into the the quick menu here, the function menu. Lower the pitch to 300. Just, that's as low as it'll go. You want to be as low as you can go. Long press to get out, so you get more resolution. So I'm holding the. What I've done here, of course, if you if you haven't figured this out on the radio yet, you can go into the menu and assign. If I wanted APF to be a uh, one of the uh, to be assigned to the A key, put it on a APF long press. See now APF is assigned to the A key, um, but I want zero in to be assigned to the A key. Now when you do that, um, you can press the Zen, just tap it. And it will adjust the VFO frequency to give you your, in this case, 300 hertz offset uh, or side tone. Um, so, watch if I get a little off. Now I'm going to press the ZIN. Here we go. Tap it till you get a blue light. You're locked on. But I'm still within a few hertz of, of being dead on it. So I'll go back into this menu, come down a little bit. Well, that's definitely going the wrong direction. If I get out and check it, definitely went the wrong way. Hear how fast the header dine is there? So let's do a, uh, let's go back into the menu.
much closer. So the factory um, factory setting was is really off. Eh, you know, you probably wouldn't hear it. To be honest, when that light's on, you're pretty you're close enough. You wouldn't hear the difference. But let's see what happens at the maximum twenty five. See, when you assign the zero in to one of the keys, you can long press it and it becomes a spot. That's about as close as I'm going to get this radio because I can't, can't, go, I can't go higher than 25 with this minute adjustment of the reference oscillator. So it can go negative two, but I'm needing uh, the maximum on the plus side to uh, let me get the focus back on it there. I'm needing the maximum on the plus side to uh, to get it. Sorry about the finger in the screen, trying to get this done with one hand here. So, um, but that's plenty close. Now, if I go, I can look at that. Go up one, um, not one, but five uh, hertz, and then down and lower by five hertz. I got a little bit, of, see, so it's a little bit, it's still a little bit on the low side, as you can see. So it's probably somewhere between 995 and is, and, and uh, zero, zero. So it's probably 997, 998. I mean, again, close enough, you're not gonna be able to hear the difference. But that gives you an idea, because when that when that LED is lit blue, it's letting you know that you are at your your desired side tone frequency. So it's probably somewhere around nine nine eight. But that's that's as much of an adjustment as you can do, uh, you know, given the the amount of. Anyway, given the amount of adjustment error correction there that they allow us on this radio okay uh, you can do this on the FTDX 5000 uh, several of the, the newer rigs from Yesu have this menu adjustment rather than having to open up the radio now there is an adjustment inside the radio that Yesu will have done from the factory and um, obviously you know it looks to me like they didn't leave it on long enough before they made that adjustment but we can, uh, you know, we have the availability here to get it pretty close. All right, hope you found this helpful. 73 from N4HNH.